Hello everyone, so it's been a while since I last updated. So right now, I'm in Belgium visiting my parents, my mom and dad. So I'm here in Brussels. I've always wanted to visit the Comics Art Museum. It's right here in Brussels. It's right above the Grand Central. As you all know, Franco-Belgian comics are an important part of the European culture. So you can practice French. Uh, by reading the comic books they're called Bon Dessinés so do check them out because I learned a lot from reading those comics very interesting so yep let's check out the museum Alright, so we're finally here at the Comic Art Museum. It took a damn while to get here because it was raining as hell. <laughs> so we're finally here. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> took a damn while, Wally. What's up, Wally? So we paid our tickets, it was 12 euros for people above the age of the age of 25 and 9 euros for people below the age of 25 like my sister here. So we're gonna start here. Let's go!
so we're done here. It's the we spent an hour in the bookstore. I was angry, <laughs> but hour. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, the bookstore was pretty big and it was so cool. There were so many cool stories. The ones that we got is this one. It's about a comic book about the Second World War in French, which is pretty interesting. And then we got our two Tintin books that I was looking for to add to my collection. So yeah, that was it. Man, that was one of the best bookstores. Okay, so we're done for the day from the comics museum. So I got this bon dessiné. It's about World War II in French, which is kind of interesting because they like to tell stories through comics here in the European countries. So that's the comic that I got because I felt like you couldn't find it elsewhere and that's it. The museum wasn't that bad. They didn't have a lot of Tintin history because I think there's Hergé Museum to look forward to. So yep, see you guys to the next one.